Hello watch fans, here I got another watch for you. Today we'll be looking at the classic Seiko from the 70s. Uh, those 70s Seikos are very appreciated by the collectors. There are a couple other models like Seiko Bullhead, uh, Seiko Kakuma and the nickname of this one is Seiko Calculator. It's quite obvious why, because uh, here on the outer bezel uh, you have a slide rule uh, that en enable you to do a lot of calculations or arithmetics. Uh, nowadays it's a little bit hard to find an application for, for this kind of uh, tool, but 40-50 uh, years ago it could be a very useful one, for example, for pilots. Uh, this watch uh, is probably the most expensive one. Uh, the value of it is from seven, uh, $700 uh, dollars to $1,000 dollars even depending on the case, uh, on the particle piece, the shape, condition and stuff like that. Um, this I paid for this one around $800 and I probably will send it back because <coughs> it's supposed to be serviced and there are a couple of problems with it. Uh, uh, crown is a little bit loose, front gap isn't working as it should. Also, uh, the problem with those watches uh, overall, it's uh, it's really hard to say if it's all genuine. Because, uh, don't get me wrong, it's probably made all from genuine Seiko parts, but it, uh, I'm something like 80% sure it's not made in the 70s. Uh, I, uh, I am 100% sure that the bracelet is aftermarket, or even you could say a fake one, uh, because uh, all Seiko bracelets should have made in Japan, signed here, and and overall it, it looks like a genuine one. If you see only the pictures of the movie, uh, you could say it's it's exactly like a genuine one. But when you feel it in hands, you would know that this is a fake one, uh, or at least aftermarket. Problem with those aftermarket parts is that they are. Uh, almost identical like the genuine one so it's really 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 hard to say uh, what is genuine or not uh, so for me for me it's okay if it's made uh, for uh, nowadays uh, by somebody else than Seiko but from genuine Seiko parts for somebody else it could not be okay because he is looking for a watch made in the 70s. So it's up to you, but keep it keep it in mind. There are a couple of sellers from UK that offer those Seiko watches from the 70s uh, in almost perfect condition. Here also, you cannot find even one scratch on the case or the bezel. There's, there are a little bit of shade uh, fade uh, even here on the crystal but nothing special and some marks on the case back um, that's why also I can say assume and that uh, this is watch made uh, nowadays and not in the 70s because it's really hard to not scratch <laughs> the case and scratch the back so it's, it's almost impossible for sure this watch is made uh, from a couple of other watches or uh, by using aftermarket or genuine Seiko parts, but it is made uh, in the last five years top, I think. No, for sure not in the 70s. Um, so it's up to you. It's okay. This is a great watch, very appealing, very nice proportions, 44 millimeters without the crown. Uh, 15 uh, millimeters thick, uh, great coin like bezel. Uh, as, as usual, Seiko watches were a little bit smaller than that. Uh, you will thought that 44 could be a big watch. It, it's, it's a very, very nice watch. I would say it's uh, worth more like 42, 43 top, uh, not 44. Uh, it's, it's a great watch, great watch. Uh, uh, like all the Seikos from the 70s, very appealing and highly valued by the collectors. Uh, this is an automatic chronograph, so I will show you. Second hand, hand is moving 
quite nicely, quite smoothly. And as you can see, it's not resetting to zero. This is one of the problems. Uh, if I push it a couple of times, it will reset, but uh, I don't think it should be like this. Uh, and I don't know if uh, my watchmaker will have a parts to fix it, so it should be serviced. And there are a couple of issues also with the crown, so I will send it back. But overall, I like it a lot. I like the style, I like the vintage look of it. Um, I like the slide rule uh, very nicely. One thing I don't like uh, it's nothing moving <laughs> when you don't uh, start the chronograph. Uh, those hands here and here on the subdials uh, are also for chronograph, so there, there, is, there are. No moving parts uh, when you just uh, want to have uh, time measurement and I like it uh, about automatic watch when something is moving so that's probably it um, on the back nothing special uh, from the serial number here you can you can say is uh, the year exactly it's from supposed to be from uh, 76 and here you have a model number this is 6138-7000 back nothing special basic information as usual with Seiko overall a very nice watch and it's, uh, it could be a great addition for anybody's collection okay <laughs> so that's probably it. I'll do a little bit close up. Here you can see the slide wall a little bit better. There is some Luminova on the index. You have a uh, date uh, and day of the week and date on the right. And those two subdials uh, for the chronograph. Okay. That's probably it. Seiko calculator. Great watch from the 70s. Thank you. Bye.